Hello once again, my friends, my fellow modelers, my fellow lovers of everything interesting, fellow vintage toy lovers, especially for this episode. It's fall of 2022, and I hope your fall is going wonderfully. I got a little goodie to show you guys. This is actually something I remember from my childhood. This is going to be pretty cool. This is a vintage toy, and you may or may not remember what I'm about to show you. Um, those of you that are near my age will certainly remember. What I got to show you is a vintage toy, and because it's the Halloween season, I decided to include it in my spooky little Halloween type of uh, series. But this isn't a decoration. This is actually a toy. So let me go ahead and show you guys. I'm talking about the ghost gun. And just looking at the box brings me back. I remember opening mine. And I, don't, I remember destroying the box. I think the instructions actually called for it. But we'll find out. The accurate target shooting game without missiles. Projects spooky phantoms and targets on any smooth surface in a darkened room. Set contains target gun with light bulb, over 1,000 targets and instructions. And this is item 5448. And let's see, is there a date? That looks like 1974, Hasbro. Oh man, it can't be that old. I guess I'm getting old. You can see the kid that's holding the ghost gun. Well, I was probably around the same age I got it when I was uh, getting mine, so probably about the same age. The side of the box has got the same thing on it. And you've got the picture of the target. Let's see. The ends of the box. You can see. Load the target strip. Now you're ready to go ghost hunting. And what is that? CG? Accurate target shooting without missiles. A ghost gun. I'll try to get the box a little bit long and awkward to handle. I was saying the box is a little bit weathered. Number 5448. Four, I mean, this is from a long time ago. And let's see if both sides of the box are the same. I don't know if this is the side that I just showed you, so let's turn it around and, yep, they're both the same on uh, both sides of the box. So, bringing it back to the front, you can see, it's a pretty cool concept. So why don't we go over to the desk, there's more light and there's more room, and I'll show you guys everything that comes with the ghost gun. Okay, you can see the ghost gun. See a little bit better in this light? All right, without further ado, let's open up the box. Let's see if we can put that over here for now. All right, oh, check it out. Nice. Let's see if I can widen the shot just a bit. That's, that's good. That's exactly as I remember it. <laughs> it's a little bit bigger than I remember. You see both sides are marked ghost gun. I love it. You got the trigger and it's a floating handle because when I'll show you in a minute, once the target is on the inside, you can have the little the little sight line up on the target of the ghost and it comes out through the uh, projection screen projection screen excuse me let's see if I can put that on top for now um, and look we got the little part this is kind of like the clip that goes in and I don't know if the batteries are in it feels like there's batteries oh it does it's still got batteries in it and the batteries work and this is what goes up inside the gun and the light projects the light 
that shines through the projector lens. And let's see, where are the targets? Here they are. And I remember that crazy guy. <laughs> the ghost gun. This is so cool. Those of you my age, relive your childhood with me. This is pretty fun. Is there anything on the back? Nope. I can't believe there's actually still... Look at it. It actually still has some of the, uh, the slides in it. The black ones were the most popular. Those are the ones that I remember using up first. <clears throat> and then you've got... The clear ones. Oh, I didn't remember that you can do the uh, crossword puzzle. They got the bats. And they've got the, what's on top? Looks like a tree. And they actually have some where you can make your own. I didn't really remember that. Um, and that's it. This kind of, there's kind of a flap that goes on here. Let me see if I can get them all to fit back. Yeah. And there's a little flap that keeps everything in place. And that says 1984. Hasbro, Pawtucket, Rhode Island. 5448. So that's pretty cool. And you can see the, the barrel, the projector screen, the lens shooting it up on the wall. All right, let's put that aside. What else is in here? I don't know if this came with it or not. Oh, yeah. The bulb must be straight for optimum performance. Please take care to adjust the bulb before you install the battery case. Poor adjustment may cause a shadow on the screen. Nice. I'll put that to the side and it looks like we have the, the instructions. Look at that. Considering 1974, not too bad. Instructions for the ghost gun. The ghost gun plugs spooky phantoms and ghosts without noise, danger, or missiles. The gun contains an optical system that allows you to project a target onto any smooth surface. When you place each target strip through the barrel of the gun, the target will, project, will be projected onto the wall much larger than actual size. The movable stock lets you position the crosshairs on the target. And when you pull the trigger, you'll make a hole on the target at the precise point where it was aimed. Use your ghost gun in a dark area, either indoors or out. A book of over 1,000 targets has been included. In the back of the book are eight blank strips, and you can sketch your own spooky targets in crayon and felt pencil and add them to the fun. To assemble the gun, <clears throat> one. Caution, since the bulb is exposed, we recommend that the battery pack is installed by an adult. Two, to install the batteries, use a coin to open a section A on the battery case hand grip illustration one. Three, to insert three C cell batteries not included as shown in illustration two. So we put three of them in, I didn't really remember. Remove the Phillips head screw on the side of the battery case and insert the battery case hand grip in the gun with the on and off switch toe with the front of the gun. Illustration, remove the caution tag before inserting. All right, so that the screw comes out. I'm amazed that it still has it. Wow, I guess it wasn't used that much. Going over to the back. Let me show you guys. Be sure the battery case hand grip is firmly in place, the screw holes aligned. Replace and tighten the Phillips head screw. Okay, so we put the screw back in. To load the target strip, press section D towards the front of the gun and slide the target strip through the slot until it appears on the other side of the gun. Squeeze the on-off switch to project the target and regulate target strip to the center. The image illustration in illustration number six. As so. Now you're ready to go ghost hunting. Should the bulb in your ghost gun need to be replaced, replaced by an adult, remove the screw B and separate the battery case hand grip from your gun and unscrew the bulb. Replace with any number 13 or 365 miniature screw type bulb. I don't even know if they still make those anymore. 
Note, for the best illumination, a target orient bulb so filament faces the front, switch side or battery case. See illustration. Get the on and off switch. If you wish, you can create your own target surface by folding the ghost box as illustrated. Now that's what I remember doing. Carefully break the partitions on each side of the box. It looks like somebody already did that on this one. Swing the right side of the box into the vertical position, leaving the tabs on the outside. And then tuck the tabs into the slots provided on each side of the vertical portion of the box. Okay. Point your ghost gun into the box, moving in closer until a ghost image is sharp. 1974, Hasbro Home Products, Pawtucket, Rhode Island, 02861, USA. Nice. So that's how I remember um, destroying the box. Looks like somebody did that to this one and then, oh, I just knocked over the thing. And then it looks like they uh, retaped it. I don't see why you just can't put it this way and then put that into the box and put it in, but that's okay. I'm not going to destroy the box anymore because I want to keep the box intact anyway. You can see what's left of the box. Let's put that aside. <clears throat> All right. So I think what we're going to do is we're going to, we're going to take the screw out. You can see the hole in the side, and we gotta put the trigger in the front. So this is gonna go in until it actually is gonna line up, just like that. And they want us to put the screw back in. Just like that. And here we are. There's the ghost gun. And let's see how it projects. Love it. it. Looks like a movie camera, doesn't it? You can see the sights. All right, let's try putting in one of these uh, strips. You know what, I'm gonna go right to the one that I remember choosing most often when I was a kid. So let's take this one off. Like that. All right. Let's get this piece off. There. Hopefully you guys can see that. There. All right, so we got it through. All right, let's see what we got for a target. Here we go. I'll make sure that you guys can see it. So I want to do, let me go ahead and zoom in so you guys can see the projection of the ghost. How's that? <clears throat> Is that a little bit better? And you guys can see the, um, the little crosshairs. So why don't we go, we're going to give him a warning shot. See how it looks on the side where we shot? We'll give him another warning shot on the other side. Oh, we ended up shooting him. All right, let's... Here it is. We're going to shoot him right between the eyes. Oh. We missed. Let's try to shoot him in the mouth. Let's see. Let's 
try let's try to line the sights up all right it, it really pulls to the left all right let's go for his hand we'll probably get him in the head oh we got him in the armpit but again it's moving just a bit so let's see if we can get him in the heart All right, why don't we move on to another target? We got a fresh one this time. And hopefully you guys can see the, uh, the crosshairs. And again, it really pulls to the left. So we got to shoot to the right. So let's see if we can get them right in the heart. Looks like it's not even making a hole. Oh, there we go. Yeah, we got him right in the heart. Let's see. Let's give him a warning shot to the side. And now let's get him right between the eyes. Oh, same spot. Again, it pulls to the... There we go. Because the sights, it really, really pulls to the left left let's try for the another headshot <laughs> all right <clears throat> let's try a fresh ghost all right all right let's make a moving target he's flying around and let's see if we can get him there we go. We got him. And again, he pulls to the left. Trigger to the left. And um, it's dark, so you guys can't see the uh, the trigger on top of the barrel. But I think that's just for show. Because it doesn't really line up. Unless the lens is off. Nope. <clears throat> so I think that's just for show. So let's try to... There we go. Make all shots on him. body shots let's see we'll go to another one and again he's moving around let's get him bullseye there you go right in his mouth it's up on the side of his arm yeah, rapid fire Fill him up. Nice. There. So, why don't we go ahead and I want to check out some of the other targets. So we need to put the, uh, the light back on. And I want to show you guys when you take the, um, the strip out. Let's see, where are the ones that we shot at? See how they just make little pinholes in them? All right, let's see if we can get, let's see, we'll get one that's, looks like they have another, well this one, let's see, let's use this one. We'll put this one in and see if you guys can uh there is a tree stump so let's put the tree stump in <clears throat> all right put the lights out and we'll use the tree stump see this one's a little bit fuzzy Yeah, it's not the camera. It's actually the the lens on here. Let's 
and see what it looks like when we shoot the tree stump. Look at that, right between the eyes. Hopefully you guys can see that. Just kind of unload into it. You guys see that? I know the picture isn't very clear. Let's see if you guys can. No, it looks it looks okay. It's lined up down the barrel. It's just not very clear. So let's see what I'm moving to this one. There. We could go ahead and we'll put the dark one back in. It seemed to project this one a lot better. And we'll use this one again. It looks like, up. Oh, that's one that we already shot. So let's get a brand new one. There you go. Again, he's flying around. And let's line up. Let's see. We can line it up like right there. Sometimes the little pin doesn't want to go through the uh, the film strip. You can see the inside the mechanism where the um, the handle floats. Here it is. See it right there. Again, it. Uh, doesn't want to push through it. Here we go. There we are. Got him right kind of uh, in between the eyes. All right. And then, if you don't want to shoot, you can kind of just have a little bit of fun and make them dance around. Who are you going to call? All right, let's put the lights back on. <clears throat> and I'll show you the inside, or I'll try to show you the inside. Let's bring the box back around. And we'll zoom back out. I'll show you guys the... There. Yeah. You get a good view of the gun and show you how the um, the floating handle. So when you pull the trigger, there's a little <clears throat> like a little pin that punches in. And when you pull the trigger, it pushes the hammer back and then pokes it forward. And I show you guys the uh, the film. And let's see, where's the ones that, there they are. You can see it's like a little pin that goes through the film strip. So, I hope you enjoyed that little demonstration. Um, it's a little, maybe if I took the whole thing apart and cleaned it, maybe it'd be a little more accurate or as I remember but I don't really want to ruin it you could see it's held together with screws but think about from 1974 how many times this thing's been played with um, by child hands and adult hands alike but this is pretty cool well this is pretty fun playing with this I hope you had as much fun as I did and you can see yeah, it looks like a movie camera. Let's see if you can see the little... Yeah, you can you see it right in the end. That's the, um, the bullseye or the crosshairs. And when you fire, 
the little pin goes through the, um, the film strip in that location. And this is the ghost gun. This is so cool. Again, this brought back a lot of memories. I remember having this. And let me show you guys the advertisement. I mean, I guess it was on sale at one time for like six bucks. <laughs> yeah, that was a long time ago. This was a lot more than six dollars. <clears throat> let me, when we're done playing with it, see, I don't remember um, taking it apart after. I think it just stayed together. But being an adult collector, and you want to put it back in the box, so we're going to take the clip out, and it kind of slides out. You can put the, uh, the main part aside, and you can see where it goes right back in. Like that. And maybe the bulb was starting to... See how it's kind of crooked? Maybe that's why it wasn't as bright. As the instructions had said um, that it needed to, to be straight or facing forward, but I don't really want to pry it out. Let me show you guys how to take the batteries out. It said to use a coin, but I don't have a coin available, so let's see. Do I have a my regular screwdriver anywhere? We have the um, tweezers, and that works just fine. All right, you can see the cover come off. And you can see the, it's got the Sunbeam batteries in it. And it takes three of them. I wonder how long these have been in here. Well, not long. They look relatively new. You can see that that's been around. You can tell it's been around a while. And... You can see how the uh, goes right back on, Cl clamp shut, you hear that click, it's all set to go. And that, my friends, is the ghost gun. Like I said, I hope you enjoyed this little demonstration and this little walk down memory lane. I certainly enjoyed it, and I hope you had as much fun watching as I did playing with it. And my friends, until my next vintage toy, I'll talk to you soon, and thank you so much for watching. Have a great day.